Here are five more signs and symptoms that you may be experiencing a true emergent situation and should get to the hospital immediately. You hear it all the time. Only go to the emergency room if it's a true emergency. But how does one know if it's a true emergency situation? Maybe your symptoms are a little all over the place or you're just not sure. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician with a YouTube channel called Dr. ER. And of course, if you think you are experiencing a true emergency, please call 911 or your country's emergency equivalent and or get to the hospital immediately. Number five reason you should head to the ER, fainting or dizziness. Fainting is when you suddenly lose consciousness for a short period of time. You're talking, for example, doing something, and then boom, the lights just go out and maybe you fall onto the floor. This is usually caused by a sudden drop in blood flow to your brain. Passing out or fainting can be caused by many different things, pain, being overheated, the sight of blood, anxiety, lots of different causes. But if a person you know faints in front of you, lay them down on the ground, definitely don't get them up too quickly because this could cause a person to faint again. Remember, it's that sudden blood pressure change. So stay low to the ground to avoid further injury. Also, make sure you call your doctor or head to the hospital because medically, we need to investigate whether or not there is a more serious underlying medical issue going on that is causing the faint episodes. Number four reason to get to the hospital, bleeding that cannot be stopped. Or if blood is spurting out of a wound anywhere from say trauma, an accident, or other unknown reason, you need to get to the hospital. This also goes for symptoms like coughing or vomiting blood, blood in the urine, bloody diarrhea, or you're pregnant and experiencing bleeding, or you have any other abnormal bleeding that you are concerned about that is a definite reason for you to come to the emergency department. Besides an obvious trauma that comes with its own set of possible complications and risks, there are so many reasons why a person could potentially be bleeding and none of them have any good outcomes if the blood loss isn't stopped. Also, keep in mind that a good rule of thumb is if you are trying to stop the bleeding and wrapping it just doesn't get the job done, place a finger or two straight onto the area and apply firm pressure. There are so many reasons why a person could potentially be bleeding and none of them have any good outcomes if the blood loss isn't stopped. Nevertheless, if severe hemorrhaging isn't stopped, a person could bleed to death in a short window of time. Number three, abdominal pain, especially intense localized pain. This is the single leading reason why people come to the emergency department actually about 12 million annual ER visits in the US each and every year for abdominal pain. But just because a person has stomach pain doesn't always mean the underlying issue is actually a stomach problem. Your abdomen houses many other organs which could be causing the pain. Your intestines, pancreas, liver, kidneys, appendix, or kidney stones. Did your appendix just burst? I mean, the list goes on and on for possible reasons your stomach could be upset or in pain. If you have constant or severe abdominal pain or any pain paired with a fever, or if you have changes in pain intensity or location, for instance, does the pain go from a dull pain to a sharp stabbing pain, or does your pain radiate to another area? Also, increasing pain in a very specific spot is worthy of an ER visit as well. I'll give you some examples. If the right lower quadrant of your abdomen hurts, that usually indicates appendicitis, which needs to be seen in the hospital immediately. Left lower side of the abdomen, that usually could indicate diverticulitis or some issue or infection with the colon. Any specific area or any pain accompanied by another symptom, difficulty breathing, fever, or changes in behavior of the pain, get to the hospital stat. Number two, intense fever. First, let's define what a fever is a body temperature of over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius is considered a fever and often a sign of infection in the body. If a child is under the age of three months and experiencing any elevated temperature, call your healthcare provider or head to the ER immediately. For anyone older than an infant, typically patients are told to come to the hospital when a fever is hitting or heading towards the 103 degree Fahrenheit or 39.4 degrees Celsius mark. Any higher body temperatures than that definitely come to the emergency department. Number one, confusion or changes in mental status. If a person is not acting or thinking like they normally would, if a person suddenly confused, disoriented, possibly agitated, or even having suicidal thoughts, you should immediately seek medical attention 
for any abrupt change in a person's mental status. Several serious medical conditions or even outside factors can cause changes in a seemingly healthy person, and this is definitely a cause for concern. Serious medical conditions like strokes, infections like meningitis, brain injury, low oxygen levels, medication side effects, psychological issues, or even drug or substance intoxication. So if you see any sort of acute confusion or sudden mental changes in a person that you care about, definitely seek out immediate emergency treatment because it could be a matter of life or death. All right, that's been a quick breakdown of some more signs you should go to the ER. And if you missed it, check out part one of this video where I go into even more signs and symptoms of when you should head into the hospital. Also, let me know in the comments if you've ever made a trip to the emergency department and what that experience was like for you. We can learn a lot by learning from each other's past medical experiences, so definitely leave me a comment below. And shout out to Nucleus Medical Media for their awesome video library and graphics. This video was a collaboration between them, and as always, make sure you subscribe to both channels. Thanks so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.